Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll take a look at installing Podman on Oracle Linux 8. Podman is a daemonless container engine. We can think of Podman as a replacement for Docker with an almost identical command syntax. I'm making the assumption you have a clean Oracle Linux 8 installation and you have access to the root user. If you need it, there's a separate video on how to install Oracle Linux 8. The installation of Podman is really simple. We don't even need to amend the default repositories. We just use dnf install podman. The minus y flag means we won't be prompted for a confirmation. And effectively that's it. We could start using Podman now. For people with Docker experience, they'll probably want to pull images from Docker Hub. To do that, we need to make the following changes to the etc containers registries.conf file. We need to edit the list under registries.search, adding in Docker.io. Podman uses the var lib containers directory to hold images and containers, so we want to hold that on a separate disk. We have an additional disk, slash dev slash sdc, so let's partition it. We can see there are no partitions. We partition it using fdisk as a single partition taking up all the space. Now we can see we have the dev sdc1 partition. We create a file system on the new partition using makefs.xfs. This is an XFS file system, but we could use another file system type. Now we have to mount it to the varlib containers directory. We capture the UUID of the partition. Make sure the varlib containers directory is present. Append the new mount to the etcfs tab file so it's mounted automatically after reboot. Then we mount it. The find mount command shows us the disk is now mounted. The podman syntax is very similar to docker. We can show this with a few commands. We check the podman version. Pull a named image from a registry. Run a container using an image. Check for containers. Stop a named container if it's running and remove a container. If you've used Docker before, this should all feel really familiar. So there we have it, Podman installed and working on Oracle Linux 8. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.